Hey, it's me, James, and I'm here today to show you how to enable multiplayer radar in the Minecraft mod Ray's Minimap. This tutorial was made with Minecraft 1.6.4, but it's the same method I've been using since I started this project back in 1.2. Anyway, before we begin, I'd like to note that while I endeavor to make the process as simple as possible, this is not for people who haven't installed mods before. <coughs> to get started, you'll need two programs, JDGUI and REJ. I've already installed them, so uh, please pause the video now and follow the links in the description and just go ahead and download those and, and get them on your computer. Okay, now that we've got those installed, we're going to want to download the latest version of Ray's Minimap. Unfortunately, uh, Ray's forgotten to update the, his Minecraft forms post. We'll have to download it off this uh, creepy looking Japanese site. Totally legit. Anyway, yeah, this is... Um, yeah. That, that's real. It's actually from Ray. Uh, you should probably be able to trust it. So anyway, I've, I've translated it to uh, English because I'm using Chromium, which is awesome. <laughs> but you'll just want to uh, download it. <clears throat> Next up, we're going to open uh, JDGUI and uh, open that file you just downloaded. You're going to want to go to RayFNSK.Minimap and the where to go? Ah, yes, and double click on Ray's on Ray Minimap. Next, you're going to uh, press Control F to help type uh, multiplayer. It's all one word, all lowercase. And I'm um, just uh, keep clicking next until you find a pattern that looks like this. Now, look at that first line. This dot allow cave map. That's uh, line 618. Remember 618. 618 is going to be a magic number. Now, um, just remember 618 for uh, the 1.614 update. Next, you're just going to want to um, exit just JDU. We're done with it. That's all we needed. Now we're going to open uh, ReJ. This is the Java bytecode editor where we actually make the changes. Now you're going to want to uh, browse the. You're going to want to browse and find the file that you just downloaded. Go to rayfnsk.minimap. Go to rayminimap.class, not rayminimap dollar one. Dollar two, just ray minimap class. Open it. Next, you're going to want to um, hit navigate. Go to source line number. Type our magical number six one eight. Six one eight. Hit enter. We'll see a section like this. It'll have these bunch of areas where it's um got if nay, icons, go to, label, icons, label followed by some permission like allow cave map or allow entities radar or other things that we want. So what you're going to want to do is um, go to the icons, right click on it, hit insert before, scroll down to icons1, hit OK. Then you're going to want to remove the icons0. Now we're just going to uh, continue down the line doing this. There's uh, I think nine total. Um, just just keep going down the list. You uh, you'll want to start right before the allow cave map section, and you'll want to end right before the allow entity living section. Now uh, once you, once you finish making all your modifications, you want to hit save. Um, okay, pretend it's saved normally. Then you're going to want to exit it, and just install that um, that modified zip file just like you would any normal mod. And um, this is as far as my tutorial will take you today. I won't go through installing the mod or um, starting up the game. But yes, um, I hope I hope you enjoy enjoy this this tutorial and and everything it'll bring you. Um, mul multiplayer server owners cannot detect this like they can with some flying mods or other other hacks. They'll only be able to detect it if you're really obvious about using it or if you just tell them. Well, anyway, this is a. Uh, this has been James. I hope you enjoyed my video. Feel free to comment with suggestions for future videos. I, I might not get around to all of them, but it might be fun to try. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is James, signing off.